Hello Capricorns, welcome to your month, mid-month tarot reading for the month of October 2015. So the first card I have out here is the Chariot. And once again, I apologize for the delay in getting this video out to you. I had some computer problems and it was really difficult to film because um, the video kept freezing up, okay? So sorry about that. Crossing it is the Four of Wands. So there's some movement happening for you outside of the home. So possibly travel coming through for the next two weeks. So this is going to run, you know, roughly from the 15th of October until the end of the month. And it's late, so I'm going to just say that from the 16th until the 31st, until the time of Halloween. So we have the Six of Wands in the past position, Queen of Coins as what's coming in. Crowning this reading is the Three of Wands. So there's definitely travels indicated for you uh, with the chariot here. Ace of Coins, Page of Wands, Three of Coins, King of Coins, Page of Coins, Ace of Swords and the Nine of Coins. Okay, so you're in a good position by the end of this month um, on the financial front, so not to worry, okay? I do feel that for a lot of you, um, we have the Queen of Coins coming in, and this is somebody that can, it can be another Earth sign. And I'm getting here, um, Queen, this is an Earth sign, so Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that is coming through in the picture for you. And um, this is somebody that is shown up in the reverse position, which indicates some type of um, a bonding experience in which I feel that you're going to have to give somebody advice. And I do feel at the heart of this reading, it's the chariot, which indicates to me that you're coming into a very, very good place of success, of stability. Financial worries are all being left behind and... Um, Whatever you've been contending with is definitely paying off. Okay, so for example, if you're taking on, if you have taken on extra shifts, you're definitely getting the accolades and the congratulations and also the recognition that you deserve. So things are definitely, you know, picking up for you. But I do feel also a lot of busy energy, a lot of people in the mix, and a lot of people that you're potentially traveling to see. There might be a housewarming type of celebration. There might be celebration with people buying um, new homes, new property. And there's a, a lot of people in your house environment, okay? So I do feel for a lot of you, it might be a situation where, you know, uh, roommates and uh, people that you're living with, they're kind of picking kicking up a little bit of a dust storm so it's um you're you're not feeling as comfortable and as laid back in the house environment as you should be is what the first thing um there might be some expenditures required in the home front or you're putting in work time effort and you know some money to fix up a home environment you're going to have success with it and i do sense that you know whatever you're putting in people are very receptive and they're thanking you they're going to be thanking you and they're recognizing that you're devoting a lot of your time on the home front okay a lot of you might be dealing with an earth sign so once again this can be you know it's shown up as a queen of coins but it can be male or female so another taurus capricorn virgo and um, this person is unable, they are either swamped with work or they're just not able to, they're not operating at their best this month. They're not able to stay on top of things and they're not able to take care of things in their immediate environment. So if you're living with this person, if this is a roommate, if this is a just another earth sign in your midst, there's some negotiations that need to take place or this person is counting on you to bear, you know, the brunt of the relationship. And you're going to do it successfully because I do feel, you know, there's a lot of rapport here, emotional rapport, and you care about this person. So whatever it is that they're they're um not able to maintain in their own lives, you're picking up the, the burden, okay? And I don't feel that you're um, doing it begrudgingly. You're actually in the picture and you're offering your help to this other earth sign that is in your life. In terms of what's crowning you here, we have the Three of Wands, which indicates a brand new venture in your life. It can be a creative project or it can just be embarking on a new phase in your life, a new work situation, a new environment with the travel situation. You're going to have a lot of success, okay? So you're surrounded by success cards, Six of Wands, Three of Wands, as well as the Chariot. So things really can't go wrong for you for the rest of this month. So this is a very, very good time to take care of those around you that might 
might not be able to take care of themselves and to help them navigate whatever difficult circumstances they're contending with okay so it's like you're the the shoulder for others to lean on this month okay in terms of what's um, in your environment that you're not aware of here, I have the Ace of Coins, and the Ace of Coins indicates to, new, to me on the relationship front, it can be a relationship where you're seeing the long-term prospects of it and you don't mind putting in the work in order to build it from the ground up, okay? In the financial front, this is always good news, which indicates to me that a lot of money, a financial windfall, new job opportunities and things like that will definitely be in the picture for you. And um, the job situation itself might be outside of your home environment, so you're still debating whether or not to take this job, mainly because you might have to move home, you might have to relocate closer to where the job is. But either way, it's a, it's a blessing. It's a gift from the universe bestowed upon you, and you can do with it as you wish, okay? But on the relationship front, I do feel mainly that a lot of you are in a position where you have, for, if you're in a stable relationship, you're going to realize that um, your partner might need some help and you're both um, coming to the point where you're committed with one another or there's like a new lease on your love relationship and you realize that this is a person that is really worth building a future with and you're going to put in the work even though it's it's difficult because they're a little bit emotionally un um rattled right now and they're not operating at their best so you're going to have to you know be the gentler partner in the relationship in order to get this relationship back on track okay and you're going to have success doing that at the same time for those of you who have been dating or who have been dealing with some kind of destabilizing energies in your relationship sector with a significant other especially if they are an earth sign you're going to realize this month that there is a new lease on love and you do want to direct this relationship in the manner that you wish okay so there's going to be a little bit more work required of you single-handedly to sustain a relationship but I do feel it is a prosperous relationship because you've seen this person at their best and now they're going through a hump so you really have to pick up the slack and you really have to like um, help them through it, okay? For those of you who are single, there's definitely an earth sign coming through for you. Um, I'm also getting a fire sign here with the page of wands. So that's something coming through as well. Fire signs are Sagittarius, um, Leo, and Aries. So this is... Um, potentially a new love prospect. I do feel if, if it's an earth sign, it's somebody that you've known for quite some time. If it's a fire sign, it's definitely a new love prospect coming through and it looks promising, okay? It's in the reverse position, so I do feel that this person is a little bit more pushy. They're rushing and they're streamlining um, in order for, they're trying to propel the relationship to move forward and you're kind of dragging your feet because as an earth sign you're thinking about long-term prospects, okay? So you're not really sure if this person can make the cut but they are very exciting to be around and they rejuvenate you, they, they rejuvenate you, they refresh you and it's a, a very nice um, magnetic energy that they're bringing into your life, okay? So it, either way, it looks very promising. In terms of what's in your external environment here, I have the Three of Coins, which is um, a project that is basically, um, it's not exactly going the way that you have anticipated. It's not going the way that you want. This can be a project that um, as soon as you start it, you realize that it's a little bit more complicated than you initially gave it credit for. So it's going to be, require more ingenuity and more work on your end as well. So I do feel in relationships and also in work, things are not exactly as they seem. So you really have to lay the groundwork for both front in order to stabilize both of them. So there's a lot of diversions and there's a lot of, um, I wouldn't say you're scattering your energy, but this is definitely going to be, you know, the, the second half of the October is going to be a little bit busy. All right. So make sure you get the, the balance between your public life and your private life. Okay. In terms of your hopes and dreams here, we have the king of coins. So the king of coins is somebody who is very, very established, financially stable, who can maintain boundaries when it comes to uh, separating their private and public life. 
and they, while they might be a little bit of a workaholic, they can still manage their affairs on the home front, and they are very, very giving, and just, um, this is a great relationship partner as well. So this is what you're hoping to be. You're hoping to get to the point where you are financially stable, you can sustain yourself, your, maintain your own life, and in the process of getting through life and maintain, you know, doing maintenance work on yourself, you're hoping to be able to incorporate another person into your life. You're coming into the rest of this month in a very emotionally, financially secure state of mind. And at this point, you're thinking to yourself that you don't really mind um, another person in your life. Okay, So you actually crave the stability that you can bring into another person. And you're starting to realize that you have a lot of assets and other people would kill to be in your presence because you have a very soothing, calm, stabilizing presence about you. In terms of the outcome here, we do have the page of coins in the reverse position. So for those of you who are traveling, who are somewhat leaving the home, who are renovating the home front, I do feel there is a little bit of a financial dip, not to worry. Some expenditures are required on the home front. If you're going to like a housewarming party, if you're going to like a celebratory mood, um, party, or any type of a celebratory um, get-together, <clears throat> I do feel a lot of earth signs are in your presence, not just the partner, but, you know, externally as well, okay? So be very careful with spending. There might be, you know, travel. I don't feel there are travel delays because the chariot is in the upright position, but I do feel some expenditures around the household front is needed. Buying gifts for a significant other as well. It's a minor financial dip, so not to worry. We also have the, uh, the Ace of Swords here as the outcome position. So I definitely feel there might be some misunderstandings between you and other people, especially for those that you're living with who might be an earth sign. If you're dealing with you know communications when it comes to this romantic partner, Page of Wands, a fire sign that is showing up, um, this person might be... You might be dragging your feet because you're trying to take things slow. This person might be trying to push things forward a little bit too much. So there definitely needs to be some sort of compromise coming through between you and the fire sign just so you can, you know, get a, find a, an equilibrium in the progression of this new relationship if it's a new relationship. For those of you on the work front, there is definitely communication problems coming through from the people that you are collaborating with, okay? So things are not progressing the way they should on the work front, and I do feel most of it has to do with people dragging their feet when it comes to making serious decisions. I don't feel it's coming from you because it's more of an air sword energies. And um, you're kind of taking a back seat. You're waiting for somebody to make a decision, make up their mind about what they want to do so that you can see a path forward in the work front, all right? But aside from that, we have conclude here with the Nine of Pentacles, which indicates to me a lot of emotional, an emotional stability coming through by the last week of the month and also a lot of financial ab abundance, a lot of financial gains, a lot of prospects as well. If you are single and dating, there's definitely, you're very well received, a lot of prospects, a lot of people that are interested in you. In terms of whether or not they are capable of making you know, long-term commitment or they can be in your life in the long run, you want to be a little bit careful. Take things slow. So what you've been doing you know, in terms of dragging your feet or taking things very, very slowly with new romantic prospects, that's the right way to approach it, okay? So Capricorns, um, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm very, very sorry for the delay in getting the video out. Um, if you like a private reading, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. I will talk to you soon and have a wonderful Halloween.